In Gaza today, the Israeli military dropped more leaflets from the air, offering a reward for information on the whereabouts of hostages taken by Hamas. In exchange, the military also promised protection for the performance home and its family. Here in our area, families of those kidnapped are pleading for help to bring their loved ones home. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has their stories. He looked composed and in shock. But from that, I took some strength, and I continue to say, I hope that it's carrying him forward. Parents John Poland and Rachel Goldberg speak of new video discovered of their son, 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg Poland, formerly of Connecticut. He's seen being ordered by Hamas into the back of a pickup truck with just one arm. This was after he fled the music festival massacre and hid in a bomb shelter that was attacked by terrorists. They joined Flatbush-born father Ruby Chen at Central Synagogue Tuesday evening. His 19-year-old son, Itai, is missing. He was at a base uh, near Nachal Oz. He was protecting a sovereign part of Israel. Then the last that we know that he was active in the field was 9 a.m. The synagogue's rabbi said this chair with Israel's flag will remain empty until all the hostages are returned home. Some of the families flew here to New York just to speak at the U.N. We're not satisfied knowing that it's been 17 days and nothing seems to be moving. The family of Long Island native Omar Nutra pleaded to world leaders to rescue their children. We have not heard anything from anybody. The United Jewish Appeal, or UJA, has raised more than $115 million to help Israel and rebuild kibbutz communities destroyed. The inhumanity, we need people to remember this. Getting every single hostage home has to remain an extraordinary priority for our elected leadership. The families are asking residents to contact their political representatives daily to keep the issue at the forefront. On the east side, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.